Max. Prove yourself. Max himself. Yep. Yep. That there is so goes. good. I didn't think about it in the laning phase. I was thinking late game. Top. They're running a Velo. He doesn't have Swashbuckle for five. Oh, he tries to go for the ulti, but they stun him down with the help of the Lucent Beam. Nice grabbing for MP. He's got the whole kit and caboodle. The shark's hungry. I see a lady oh, nearby. Look at how he's using the illusions. I think they'll still find the right one. Yeah. Yes, they get the X, the torrent. Here comes the hungry shark. One more right click could do it. The fissure slows them down. It's enough to get off the LSA, but there will be no he's in trouble. Yeah, in look his at back pocket. A smoke gank as well from. Uh, oh, he's going to come right across. Ah! Thinks about dropping it. Does decide to drop it. Gets the connection on for the Luna, the big target there. A dank rip comes out. We'll hear up. They put the Laguna on the Dubu and right click him down as he tries to upheaval. Fissure to fly down the middle of the road right here. Fatal bonds. To be forced to swing it out. Dubu. You got to get out of there. You're going to be in trouble. Does Kunga want to try to bail out his friend, or does he want to turn and run? I mean, they do have the Morphling farming elsewhere, so wh why not swing? They go out. They're going to be able to get the Undying down. They decide to Firestorm is going to force Immortals back. They put their focus on the MP. The right clicks continue on forward, back. and they're shoving it back. Meanwhile, on the back inside, Laguna commitment onto Pango, and they'll blast him down. Curious for Lena now, though. She's kind of like behind in terms of all the cores in the game, and it's not going to get any easier. They're making an ambush for her. Good connection with the Pango ulti stops her and her tracks. That new and fresh spirit vessel gets put to work right then and there. Can they find some redemption? Moving in with the Eclipse, they just blow the hell up out of that jet. Get that. Of all the people to show up, it's Luna into the lane. Certainly, she's done for here. Yep. That was just all too convenient. Okay. She thought she was in the clear. They had a ward up on that that part of the river, but the smoke was not anticipated. Now Lena again. She just got back. Oh, that's a double takedown. That's both cores going. Breaking up with that Lincolns. We're gonna find out here. Oh boy, oh boy. Boom! How you doing? Hits him with the dunk, nice. and he goes down. Nice. The rock. They thought about it, but obviously, it's not gonna pull. Oh, frantic ping says Dubu. Was hiding within the tree. She'll be easy food. Orange pick there. Now it's a force, okay. Okay. Force Shadow Blader. Pretty common. Tango coming in. Too crazy to force from. Nice fish from the low ground here. Can't quite get the finish. On to Febby. Oh. Now the rock connects with four. Fatal Bonds is also gonna be there. Baidu King says we gotta go. And he's able to at least escape. Lines and rolled in. Mr. King might be in a bit of trouble here. Let's see how fat the the big guy is, can he shrug this one off? No, certainly not. Undying is just from across the river going, I saw that oh, happen. The Jew. Ooh, whoa, the Jew. Whoa. The Luna's running in. Okay. Pango dashing about, trying to put the ball between the legs, and they're going to catch him and bring him right down. They're all dunking. Oh, the blink didn't make it to the, the low Yules. Ground. They somehow catch him, though, with that fissure, though, and that leads to the Yules, to the LSA, to the Laguna, and Enchant Totem. Nicely done. And everything else. Or I think trees orange could spot them. They just fissure straight up. They found the warlock within the trees. Is he going to be able to get a kill? He got it down. He drops the rock. It is going to help them secure the kill onto CG. They'll finally finish off Dubu. And Bida King says we got to go. He wants to grab a hold of orange. And they will both peace oh, out. Oh. Undying. Oh, He's oh, gone. He but got the, X. the last second X pullback. And radiant. That must be sad. You're, like in the, you're in the fountain. You taste the water. And mm. Drops the Firestorm. Meanwhile, Orange is going to get hit a bit. They're still trying to break down the big guy, and they'll finally do it. And they get Orange as well. Here we go. Velo, all oh, the Roche Pit, Blink Dagger, Pango. This is the Oh, prime. boy. Big Torrent right inside the pit, but beautiful block out with that Fissure. Velo, oh, though, rolling right into action right now. But as you mentioned, Luna, top of the BKP. A dunk oh catches three. God. Orange with the beautiful setup right there. They are going to allow the time for Luna to grab the Aegis. Now the Shark flying and rolling in. They can't even finish the first life, but they are going to step in to do it now. A dying force to buy back. Come and join the rest of the party. It's a three on one here. No one from Luna's team there to bail her out. Will they be there for the second life? Here comes CG. Stepping up to the plate. Nice Fisher block in from Orange. Follows it up with an additional stun, but they can't quite lock in the Morphling. Now Velo evil to jump away. There's the Chaotic Offering drop. Dubu back into play. Beautiful connection there. Fatal Bond's follow-up is also good. Pull back, Luna to be brought down a second time. She knows it. She's just turning and fighting. 
Big girls don't cry, so we'll <laughs> see. She I also like. said my lovely lady loves, right? She did. Oh my god. Goodbye. Lee needs to be careful trying to counter this ward down here by herself. Yeah, look at Oh, Logan. God, run! He just blinks in after the ulti, finds a connection, not on one, but two. Three, four. And here comes the rest. Five. All of them there. Follow up. Chaotic offering drop coming out right now, and MP hits the shot necessary to go for the clean finish. On to Luna. Baidu King Excellent. goes bye bye and comes right back into the arms of Immortals. Three go down. Big hero. He just got seven stuns with one ability. Oh man, poor Undying tries to flex up a bit but gets blasted down. He wants to heal things up, and here comes Morphling again. This is it. We've hit, we've hit peak Morphling. He's not even that far oh yet. Oh my god, the ult is up again on Velo? Yeah, that, I mean, you look at it, it is a more to find out. Look at him go. 60 second cool. Dang. Oh, tries to jump out from the stun. But uh, it's looking like Baidu King don't have too many answers, and the Glaives continue to go out. Not even Lena is going to be able to make it back safely. She's out for a minute. Re-engage, because if you if they do try to chase you out of base, you're going to have the Warlock backing you up 100% of the time, and that's like the best ring. Oh, you know. they try to get a jump, but it doesn't quite find the target there. MP is able to shrug things off and keep fighting forward. Should be able to slash down Orange. It does so. Tango. Tango begins dancing around on him, rolling through the group. And at the same time, the Morphling shifts away, drops his own root. And now Baidu King hurtled together, hoping to survive. It's 747, aka Rioja. A Rioja? Rioja. He's just doing work, slapping down everybody. Double. Oh, get him. All right, here we go. Round number three. Jumping from the Morphling. The Fissure block is out. The Lagoon is there. Yules jumps back they down. The they got the Crimson again. Trying to hold the tower. They're going to commit in with everything they got. The Eclipse will come out. And they're waiting. Still have that Chaotic Offering. Here it comes. Only going to find connection onto the Luna. They get the pipe assistance and she tries to jump out and away. The Pango doesn't want to let her go. And tries to swing it out. And they're going to heal the Luna. And she's going to try to fight it with him. But, man, he can tank up a shot. And it's ulti. And then suddenly the Kunkka just fires her down with that mighty crit cleave. Oh, rating Baidu King from being mega. The Immortals want to go into playoffs. Oh, no. Hexed up outside the base. The Underlord going to be caught out for a bit. Can't get anything off quite yet. Finally gets the Pit of Owls out there. Will be forced to rip himself out from trouble inside. Oh, oh no. CG just tries to Laguna at Velo. Velo shrugs off all damage. Will not take a beating. Meanwhile, Rioja just gladly blasts down the Undying. Finishes off the Luna and forces them to submit Immortals. Will move on in the playoffs. Yep. The end of the road, unfortunately, for Baidu King. But they have...